Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go to the Goodwill Outlet Store, which I'll call the Bins, and the Goodwill Thrift Store that's right next door to it. That's right, we have two Goodwills that are side by side. One is a regular thrift store, the other one is the Outlet Store. Our Outlet Store sells a lot of home goods, um, some electronic stuff, and a lot of clothing and books. Now, the Goodwill Thrift Store next door sells just about everything that a Goodwill Thrift Store sells. So, our bins does not have the glassware in it anymore since they put the thrift store next door. All of the glassware um, and kitchen items like plates, cups, all of that, your collectibles, whether it's vintage or brand new vases and stuff like that, is all sold in the regular thrift store and not our bin store anymore. I liked it when it was sold at the bin store a few years back because it was a little bit cheaper that way. But you know, it is what it is. Things get broken in the bins really easy. So it does make sense to have it in the store next door. So let's get going and see what we can find. Okay, guys, I'm here at the Goodwill Outlet in Conover, North Carolina. First thing I see is all of these stuffed animals. These are brand new, still I have the tags on them. They're from PetSmart. I have two golden retrievers, so I'm thinking about buying the two dragons for them. There's some really nice stuffed animals in here, and you can find a lot of stuffed animals, or plushies as a lot of people call them that are brand new and still have the tags on them. Unfortunately, they have the music on blast again tonight, so I'm probably going to have to edit out a lot of the background music. These are too small for my pups to play with. They would shred them in no time. My golden retrievers love to play with stuffed animals, but I have to be really careful about which ones I buy them. They cannot have any parts that come off easily, and they cannot have any type of wires or mechanical parts in them. Here's the second dragon. I'm really thinking I'm going to get these for my pups. My pups have their own channel. I'll list it now in case you want to follow that channel if you like dog videos. These bins are looking quite empty tonight. I haven't seen these bins this empty in a very long time. I might have to get this book. I did not get a shopping cart when I came in because there weren't any available, but I'm going to have to go see if I can find one. This is a Nine West purse. It looks like it's in really great shape. I can't believe it's still sitting here in the bins. Look at how empty these bins are today. Look at it. It's crazy empty in here. I don't know what's going on with these empty bins, but this is pretty I'm not a reseller, so I don't know a lot about glass and glass value, so I first thought about buying this book, but it seems kind of out of date, and everything's online anyway. I probably should have picked it up, though, because it had some glassware in there that, like, I've never seen in any of the stores, not none of the antique stores or thrift stores or anywhere that I can recall. But I didn't want to buy it so I could flip through it and look at it a couple of times and then it ended up sitting around collecting dust. Dogs can see the color yellow really good so this one's coming with me. Look at the brown doggy in my cart. That's for my male golden retriever to sleep next to. My female already has a big bear to sleep next to. Okay, so there's tons of clothing and lots of stuffed animals or plushies or whatever you call them tonight. But as I said, the home goods bins and the books bins and I think the shoes bins too were all empty. Or at least near empty. Baby toy. Stick with me because as soon as I'm done shopping in here, I'm going to go to the Goodwill thrift store next door. It is so busy in here, and there are so many people all around me having different conversations, and I'm trying to make sure I'm not capturing their conversations. What's Reindeer. Since all of the home goods and book bins are nearly empty, everyone in here is going through all of the stuffed animals or the clothing bins in front of me and behind me. 
Here's another one that's brand new, still has the original tags on it. Dog see yellows and blues, really good. So I wanted to get this bunny rabbit, but there's wires in its ears. This thing is so soft. Asheville Bears, this helps Asheville Bears. It is so soft. I'm going to pan around here so you can see how empty it is. And I'm going next door to the Goodwill thrift store over there. Okay, now I'm in the Goodwill thrift store. This is a regular Goodwill thrift store that has a little bit of everything in here. This decanter is missing its lid. There's some poker chips hiding behind the pink gnome. They sell both new and used bathing suits. There's a kid hanging out in one of the chairs back there, so I could not video that, and I had to edit out some of this not to capture him in my video. This right here is the kind of crap that cust other customers do. Outdoor chairs. I don't know if those can be cleaned up or not. $8 a piece. This is neat. It's a map of Knoxville. It's like one of those textured raised maps of Knoxville, Tennessee. It's wall This is a colorful lampshade. At least there's some home decor in here. Another customer had told me that they're having problems processing things at the bins. I don't know if it's a staffing issue or whatever, but that's supposedly the reason that a lot of the bins were empty this evening. Okay, this chest is $5. Seems like it's in pretty good shape. a kid. That's how old that is. <laughs> That's different. Y'all know I love baskets. I gotta check out the baskets. I'm not seeing that much in the way of new stuff since I was here last time. It's been about four or five days since I was here last, I think. I think this is supposed to be a decorative hot plate, you know, that you can sit your pots on on the counter so that you don't scar up your countertops. Oh, I see something new I want to check out. Oh, I wonder if this works. I don't see a place to put a battery in it, so it must be a decorative clock only, huh? Weird. Okay, I'm going to try this. I want to make sure I don't break it. I wish I knew if this worked or not. Okay, if I knew that this would work, I'd buy it. They allow you to return, return electronics, but I don't know if they'll allow you to return this if it doesn't work. There seems to be a lot of new employees in here today. I'm going to go find one of the ones that I know that have been here for a while and can tell me whether or not I can return that clock if it doesn't work. Some metal decorative trays for $3 and $4. Another little chest for $4. It looks like it's in good condition too. Lamps. I'm not seeing anything I can't live without in the lamp section.
there's still a lot of holiday decor most of the time. A lot of the stuff ends up over in the Goodwill outlet in the bins. I absolutely do not need any more Christmas decor. I'm just showing the rest of you what's here and available. Like, uh, Christmas card holders. That's cute. Don't need it, but it's cute. Sorry, another customer knocked something off the shelf while trying to get something else down. And me and his daughter were laughing about it. It's all in good fun. It's one of those things that makes thrifting fun. You come in and stuff ends up falling off the shelf or something, and you gotta just kind of laugh it off and go in. I guess this is supposed to be one of those snack dishes for dogs. I don't use stuff like this for my dogs most of the time. You gotta have somewhere to store all this stuff, you know? The older I get, the less things that I want to have to store or deal with. We have a rule in our house, whenever we bring home something new from a thrift store or anywhere, then something else needs to leave. So I just did some decluttering and I took a box that was overflowing with stuff and dropped it off at one of the thrift stores this weekend. But I have a lot more stuff that I want to go through and donate to the local area thrift stores. Every time I fill up a box of stuff to donate, I take it to a different thrift store each time. Classic LED light up. Okay. Okay, well, it's not lighting up. When I saw this from down the aisle, I thought maybe it was a glassy baby, but it's not. Incontinence products for anybody who needs them. If you're a caregiver, you can always find these cheaper here at the thrift stores, usually. And all these for those for ramekins. Well, this is in good shape. That is a um, and fine. I have this almond pie. It's really cute for spring. It's pink and cream color. A backpack for kids. I got this cute little backpack purse right here. I don't want three backpack purses, but it's cute. This purse has seen better days. I think I might get this clock. This looks vintage. I don't know if it is or not. There's no marking, so it might be. This is a cute little jewelry box. There's some old up right there, though. basket for six dollars that's cute
very contemporary. Oh, it still has its new tags on it. Also. It's different. Franco design glassware. Not sure where this was originally sold at for $10. I'm going to try to pan around the store as much as I can and give you guys a good idea of the layout. Pay attention to above the clothing racks. Look at all the shoes they have. There's so much clothing and shoes to choose from in the store. I'm going to get out of here so I can show you what I bought. Okay guys, I got my dogs. These two little dragons. They were brand new, still had the tags on them from PetSmart. These are for animals. I have two golden retrievers, a female and a male. They have their own channel, at Lily and Sherlock. You can watch them there. So each one of them will get their little own green dragon, and hopefully they won't fight over them. But who am I kidding? We know they will. <laughs> okay, then I got them this big yellow chick, duck. It's a duck. This yellow and orange dog and these two smaller yellow chicks, because if you didn't know, dogs can see yellows and blues really good, so they're automatically drawn to yellow things. So that's why I bought these. Okay guys, so I bought the stuffed animals at the Goodwill Outlet Store. I went in there first, and that's about all I found in the bins. There were a lot of clothes, but home goods were scarce. I also bought this hardback book while I was there. I like books by Dean Koontz, so I bought this one called Dark Rivers. Um, this is a hardback. It's really thick. So for the stuffed animals in the hardback book, I paid about $7. So that was a bag full of stuffed animals plus the hardback book. So that was a really good deal at the outlet store. And I bought all of my books at the outlet store. When I'm done reading them, I donate them back for someone else to enjoy. Then I went to the Goodwill thrift store that is right next door. It's a regular boutique thrift store. And I bought this tabletop clock. I just love this clock. I was immediately drawn to it because I've been looking for a tabletop or mantle clock. As you can see here, I only paid $5 for it. Um, there's a little place here. It's a tiny scratch. You can barely see it. I thought it was residue from the sticker, but it's a little bit of a scratch and that's okay. I'm okay with that. These still sell online. I did a comp on this and these sell online for about $30 used, whether they're working or not. Now, neither me or the employees there were sure about how to get this open. The face of the clock just comes out. You know, we were worried about pulling on it and breaking it. Anyway, you can see here, here's the back, and it takes a really small clock battery. It takes one of these tiny 1.5 volt batteries. So I had to go to a couple of stores before I can find the battery. I bought a two pack of batteries for $7. Batteries are expensive right now. So between the clock and two batteries, I've got $12. About, no, I got about $14 in the clock, but that's still a good deal because clock batteries can last you anywhere from six months to about two years on one battery, and I have a two pack of batteries. So if I can get two to four years out of those batteries, that's a really good deal. Anyway, I love my little clock. I was so happy to find it. This is the second clock I've bought in the past week. I found another one at Safe Harbor Resource Warehouse. You can watch that video too to see that clock that I bought and how much that I paid for it. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Love you. Bye.